tip uh, using the bar offset so uh, that was there in click view and it's very common but we do not have that in click sense but there is a way around how to do that <coughs> okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a bar chart in here and I'm gonna add a simple dimension of product group and then I'm going to add a year called sales here you go sorry uh, I need to create sum of sales here we go okay so we have this one in here and then I'm gonna just change the presentation to horizontal so this one you mostly you guys have seen that and uh, then I'm going to use create a butterfly chart using this uh, that one I assume you guys also have seen that but I'm gonna just go that so butterfly chart is when we have data at the both axis so I'm using sum of cost and I'm using negative and and I'm using stacked so here we go we have negative positive so it's kind of a butterfly chart I can see how much sales with product etc okay so the next thing is that I'm going to use the offset so how are you going to use that offset so I'm gonna delete that so it's essentially the same concept uh, but a bit in diff, diff, bit different way so let's say if I just do not you know I just have some so you see it's just in here so what if you know I just am making it um, changing the sequence and I am going to add it to sorry no average line sorry I'm just going to add to the master item and I'm gonna say cost let's say and we're gonna use color white so you see it's kind of an offset here we go it's very simple so but um, you know not necessarily in this case it's doesn't make sense uh, but at times you know many a times it will make sense so I'm gonna show you another example using for the Gantt chart so this is a data that I have uh, you know I have tasks along with their completion status and their start date and end date and what I've done is this task are divided in certain uh, you know if you see these tasks are divided in A category, A phase, B, C, D. So this can be phase or your uh, anything. So um, and then what I've done is I have used a group by aggregation clause where I can see the you know what's the maximum date for that particular category for this parent task and so on. So this is one. This is just one thing I have done on the script side. And then if you see on the front end side I have used the uh, combo chart combo chart has actually has the more properties uh, so you know in in there if I go in more properties I can have the color option and the color option is also very dynamic as comparison to the master uh, color and I have the presentation so I can control that uh, but nevertheless if you see I have the start date which is in here but that is white and then I have the you know some of the calendar days that is going to be worked so this is phase one you see it's nicely till this one and I have the bifurcation for that and then I have the color code of this particular my year you know uh, based on the percentage of completion and this axis starting axis x-axis is using minimum maximum with the date so you know this is kind of one of the function you can have a Gantt chart using the offset function and some other details uh, and 
click. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.